hey internet big al over here at paler um let's do an exercise a snap and grid exercise and uh, you'll be able to compare it with the precision method to the direct distance entry and ortho tools okay so what do we have to do here let's let's access um, let's access the uh, snap and grid so click snap on click grid on there's a grid okay let's um, open it up to that those are its limits okay let's go into view and let's zoom it out to extent so we got something to work with okay what's the distance between these well if we go over to here to O snap right click O snap left click settings okay find the tab snap and grid there it is click it it's default set at 0.5 really nice okay so it's 0.5 remember I'm gonna trick you on this in just a minute so keep your eyes open okay so this is zero zero over here I want to start for instance for no other reason um, I want to start uh, at point three where x is three okay where x is three and y is two how about that okay so um, I can simply pick up line home pick up line okay one half one one and a half two one half one there's one there's two there's three click okay now I'm going over six one one and a half two two and a half three three and a half four four and a half five five and a half six click it go up one let's see how much go up two uh, there's one one and a half two click go in point seven five there's point five there's one Ooh, I can't do it can I hmm well, let's go to point 0.5 for now. Click it, go up one and a half, good, go out, point 0.5, good, go up, I believe two, yeah, that's what the diagram says, two, click, okay, let's go back over here, click, go down two, in one, because we can't go to the right distance just yet, go down one and a half, over and down okay so there it is all drawn out for you except this distance is wrong what can we do alright let's go over to O snap right click left click settings okay go into snap and grid now without changing the grid spacing we're just going to change the snap how much the jump is so I'm coming in here and I'm going to, instead of a half inch jump I'm gonna put a two there for quarter inch point two five oh that's a quarter of an inch alright now I'm gonna hit OK now pick up line come right over here now watch what happens well here I tell you what first let me erase those there we are now let's continue I wanna go in three quarters I'm not changing the grid space, just the jump space. Click, there's one there's a quarter, a half, three quarters. Quarter, half, three quarters. You see it? Now you have very simply taken care of that problem. Come over here. Quarter, half, three quarters, click. And click. So what I've just shown you is how to do the precision measurement using the snap and grid. And we also had an opportunity to jump back into the snap and grid tab and adjust the leap, if you will, the snap length of the line, which enables you to come up with a dimension that your basic grid won't give to you. Okay? So compare these two methods, okay? The pre this precision method one, which is snap and grid, with precision method two, the direct distance entry and ortho tools, and you'll see that they're pretty neat tools. So this is Big Al over here at Paler. And uh, let's talk again real soon. Thanks.